Good morning, everybody. Just wanted to give you a little tutorial on how to get your blog set up with WordPress.com. Um, I know some of you are going to be tempted not to watch this all the way through, but I tell you, if you do follow this and do every step that I ask you to do, you'll have the perfect blog all set up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> First thing is you need to go to right here, WordPress.com. Easy enough. Once you get through to WordPress.com, this is the website that you will see and it's pretty self-explanatory so let me show you how to get all set up so first thing obviously you got to hit the get started button it's going to ask you for some information um, I am going to go ahead and just tell them that this is my address my username sure it'll be Vance J kite 2 I'm going to use a password I don't know, we're just going to go with password 2, something nice and simple. Um, and that's what the password is going to be. Um, my blog address is going to be vancejkite2.wordpress.com. Now you can change this to whatever you like it to be. You can change this first set, and then it'll be whatever you put here, .wordpress.com. Now I will tell you, um, make sure that you come up with an address that's going to look good and professional to those who might be coming to your website. So don't put something up like bubble sprinkles, purple, whatever. Um, make sure that you've got a good professional web address for your blog. And then we're gonna go down. We don't want to upgrade. We want to go ahead and create our blog. Now, once you do that, it's going to send a link to your email that you are going to have to confirm and verify. So you can see it just came in right here. I am going to click on this to activate my blog. And once that happens, we are going to land at this page right here. Now, my blog title, I don't want to be my username, so I'm going to change my blog title to my blog. You can call your blog whatever you want, but this is going to show up in the big like left-hand corner of your screen, somewhere up here on your blog. Tagline is going to be whatever you want to show up underneath that, so I'm just going to say teaching is awesome. So the way this will show up is your blog title will be here, and then your tagline will be right underneath it. Then we're going to go on to the next step. Next thing, this is the most important part. This is where you choose the theme for what you want your blog to look like. Now, a couple things to notice. Some of them cost. We don't want to use those. We want to use the ones that are free. So you can scroll down, find ones that you like the way that they look. Um, you can always ask to show more themes and you will get more options. So I am just going to go ahead and pick one that caught my eye. This one looks nice. So I'm going to choose that one right there. We don't want to customize this. The person who made the theme has got it all set up like they would like it to be set up. So we're not going to worry about customizing it. And we're just going to go on to the next step. Now, right here, it asks you to write your first post. Um, this is where you can start writing posts from, but I would recommend doing it from another place. So just to get started, I'm just going to hit text post. I'm going to put in my first post. Here it is. And then I'm going to publish it. Now we're going to do a lot of work from this place, but we just need to get something initially set up. And once you've published your first post, you're going to come to this page, which is a very important page for you to know how to work. This kind of gives you an overview of your blog, but anytime you need to change or do anything on your blog, what you want to do is come up here to this picture right here. You want to click on the name of your blog and it is going to bring you to your dashboard. Now this dashboard is the back end. This is where you do everything. This is where all the working happens, any changes to your blog, any setup to your blog, whatever, this is where it happens from. Now, when you log into your blog, you can go directly to this page by putting in your blog address slash WP admin, and it will ask you to sign in, and it will bring you right here. So here's what we wanna do. We wanna go ahead and start setting up our blog with a couple of major things. So down the left hand side here is where everything that you need to see will reside if you just want to write a post you can press that post button you can hit add new and there it goes it'll just come up with a box and you can start typing um, before we start putting posts in our blog though we need to actually make our blog look like what we want it to look like so here's the first thing we want to do we want to go to pages and first thing you want to do is you want to create an about me page. So we got pages right here. We're going to hit add new 
<clears throat> this page is going to be titled about me each one of you needs to have an about me page and here's what you need in your about me page i want you to put in a couple of significant things about yourself so something that if somebody comes to your website they can learn a little bit about you now a couple of things don't put down your address. Don't put down any real personal information. Um, just want to put things down about maybe where you go to school. What are you interested in? What do you want to be once you graduate high school? Um, what are some things that you find interesting? Those would be the kind of things that you would want to put in your About Me page. So I will just say that I like cooking, dogs, running, and being outside. So you're going to want to put way more information in it than that, but I just wanted to get that in so that I've got something to hold a place. So I've got my About Me page, and I am going to publish it. Once you publish it, it is live on your blog. Now, anytime you want to see something on your blog, you can come up here to where it says My Blog, and you should be able to click on this, and it will take you to your blog, and you can see what it looks like. Now, obviously, mine looks empty because I haven't done anything to it yet, but that's how you check it out. And then when you go back, you just click on this dashboard button and it will take you back. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to set up what are called categories. Categories are the way that you will organize all of your posts and the way that people will get around your blog. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this post button, come over here, slide down to categories, click on that, and we need to add new categories. So here are the categories that you have to have as a part of your blog. We need a category for a cam tag and we will add that category. You see it come up there on the side. We need one for public health. We're gonna add that category. We need one for environmental design. Gonna add that category. And then the last one we need is portfolio. Those are your major categories. Now, anytime you make a blog post, you will say that it's gonna go into one of those categories and that's the bucket that it will land in. We're also going to use these categories to create some pages within your blog. So next thing we wanna do is alter the appearance of your blog. And that's gonna be right over here under appearance. And what we want to do is we want to work on the menus. Now, menu name, we are gonna name this the main menu and this will be the menu that shows up across the top of your screen that people can click on and use to get from one place to another. So you create that menu and now we need to tell WordPress what is going to go in that menu. So here are the things that we want. You'll see right here it says pages. You want your about me page. We're going to add that to the menu. You want to click right here on categories and we want to view all and you want CamTac, you want environmental design, portfolio, public health. Add all those to the menu. And once that is done, you can see your categories here. You can change the order that those categories are in by dragging them around up and down, just like that. And we want to make sure that we make this our primary menu. And we want to save it. Now, once that's done saving, we're gonna go and check to make sure that our work has shown up. So we're gonna go over here and click on my blog. And if you look right here across the top, we now see we have got About Me, we have got CamTech, Public Health, Environmental Design, and Portfolio. Now, based on the type of blog layout that you choose, your pages might show up here, they might show up down the side. Each one's going to be a little bit different. So this is what we got. and what will happen is your about me page is not going to change. Whatever you put in there, the picture, the text, whatever is going to stay the same all the time. Now, these pages, CamTech, Public Health, Environmental Design, as you put posts in, your newest post will be up on the top and then your older ones down below it and it'll just keep adding in that direction. Now, let's go ahead and go back to your dashboard and look at putting in a post. Um, Anytime you want to put in a post, remember we're going to go right here to posts and we're going to add a new post and we're going to call this, I don't know, yours is going to be different just for the sake of this tutorial. I'm going to say test post two. I'm going to say I have created my first 
blog post. You're going to write way more than that. Um, if you want to add pictures, it's super simple. You just put your cursor where you want the picture to go. You hit add media and then you drag it and drop it in and it's nice and easy. Now, this is really important. Every time that you create a blog post, you've got to tell where you want that post to go. So I'm going to say that I want this post to go under the Camtac page. And if you want to organize your posts, you can tag it. So you could just call this first post. And if you use the same tag, you can always search for it. And then we are going to publish it. And once that has been published, there you go, it is published. Um, once it has been published, we can go to the blog and We've got my blog, CamTac, and here we go, test post two. Now, if I would have put a picture in there, the picture would be showing up right there and it would look a lot prettier, but I told you to go to the CamTac page, so it is now in the CamTac page. Let me take a second and think about whether or not there's anything else you need to see. Um, WordPress has got really nice tutorials, so if this didn't get you everything you need, you should be able to find a tutorial on WordPress that will help you to do it. All of your blog stats are going to show up right here. Anytime you get comments, it's going to be right there. Um, most everything you can do will be along the side, and don't worry, you can't really break your blog. You might, you know, tweak it a little bit, but you're not going to break it, so don't be scared to try things. Um, hopefully this was helpful to you. If you're still stuck, then ask one of the teachers that are circulating around, but thanks for the, taking the time to watch this, and hopefully you all have awesome blogs. Thank you.